welcome to my channel powerpoint glamour so today what we have uh, we have this timeline infographic template which is beautiful it has uh, text boxes a timeline so let's see how do we do it today so first foremost let's go ahead and insert a rectangle okay so we have a rectangle inserted Sized it up, then go to format shape, select the color, fill it with white, and then go to the shadow options, select the shadow format, set the transparency, size, blur, angle, and the distance. Okay, now we have got that perfect look. Great, then go ahead and insert another rectangle underneath that. Okay, make sure it is. Of equal size and go ahead and uh, change the color of that rectangle also to the same color that we have uh, that we want aqua color okay and then make sure you align it properly okay after bringing that uh, rectangle to front then they should go under that great we have that shadow look great okay so there's one more shape left which is a triangle so you take a triangle here drop it there make sure you align it properly okay there you go make sure it's properly aligned there should be no spaces let's align a little more okay yeah i think it's perfect great all right looks good select it go to shape fill same color okay the color is also fine select it again go to the shadow options select an inner shadow over there okay it should be an inner shadow select here go to the inner inside bottom shadow great that gives that great ribbon feeling all right the shape is done select all of them by one <clears throat> and then right click go to group and say group Okay, grouping is done duplicate the shapes one two three four five six great now you need to align them select all of them go to align strip it horizontally and then align it properly in the middle align it great so all the shapes are aligned properly all right so make sure you select the colors as we want for the same select this colors of these so I change the colors okay all the colors are selected it looks beautiful all the shapes are ready and then you need to add a few circles here so one circle is inserted here okay resize it put it just underneath that triangle here. okay good now fill it with the same color you can use the eyedropper which is easy to have the same color right the color is set make sure you select the outline also the outline should be white then the weight should be two and a half points okay so it's done now you need to give some shadow effect there okay go to shadows select the center transparency the blur to give that effect okay so let's see this is blur a little more okay good i think it's fine great now duplicate all of them put it under all of the other rectangles one two three five six select them make sure you align them and then yes properly align great so now change the colors to the same colors as the top ones. The eye drop. It is very easy to copy the colors. I'm fast forwarding it for you. Okay, okay. Alright. Great. So the circles are also done. Now what we need to do is we need to add a connector. So insert a shape there, a smaller rectangle. Make sure you align it properly. Then we need to make sure we give it a, a gradient fill, right? 
so now go to gradient field lecture okay make sure the first this one is the same color as of the left one all right we also select the direction it should be this this color of the left should be this so i drop it the right one okay, let's select this okay the right should be the right one so i drop out the right one great so that is done again duplicate this ctrl d paste it here okay align it properly and then uh, make sure you bring these two front so that the the line goes behind it again go to gradient select the colors accordingly as we did in the previous one okay to gradient fill this right one should be the same as the right circle great can you duplicate this select duplicate drag drop behind the two circles bring to front okay so left should be like the left right should be the right one correct okay repeat it for the other circles as well all right one last time okay to the shift and reduce the size of this one right back to front then we have a last circle left to put it there and then extend the line alrighty okay so let's change the color of the circle done okay align and adjust it great so that's what's done Take a text box, put it here for some option names here. Option one, okay, put it there. Same as the font, the color, same as the top ones. Okay, it is done. Right. So I'll duplicate them for all the other shapes. All right, select and align them properly. This should be aligned middle, distributed equally. Great. All right, now insert a text box. For you to type some text there so change the font the size all right just copy paste copy paste so that a uh, template kind of uh, text box is created for you great right, it's done. just ctrl d duplicate all the text boxes let's say select all of them then align it align Text boxes are drop the line. Great. Now insert a line over here for a divider. Just make sure it doesn't touch uh, the uh, sides. So select the color. Let's take this gray or oh, this one, ash color. Now this looks fine. Duplicate, paste it here. Same process for all the others. Select all of them, make sure you align it so that it's a straight line. Great, done. Okay, so now what you do is insert a text box here so that you can put it here. Option one, drag it. Font should be as you see, which I'm using here. Duplicate here, option one, okay, duplicate, 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 paste it accordingly, not all, and then you can change it to option one, option two, option three. So this is just text, uh, you can definitely change it so after you download the slide, which is free. Okay, now they go ahead and insert the icons. Select at least uh, six icons, I'm just selecting random icons for you. Okay, 
so stayed uh, the account select all right insert the icons click on here then separate the icons put them one each the boxes right the icon colors are black in color so icons are black so place them in each of the rectangles in the top half of the shapes there i can change the color of the graphics here all right so go to graphic fill select eye drop and change it like this do the same for all the others okay fast forwarding it for you all right this done so we need one text boxes here in the second half so go here duplicate come back here and paste it Duplicate a little text here we don't need that much mm -hmm. all right duplicate duplicate here again do the same process for all the other shapes okay great so i think we are done here Text box for the time. So to the ending, change the shape. Okay, just font size two thousand nineteen. Duplicate twenty. Duplicate twenty one. Control D. Duplicate twenty two. Control D. Twenty three. Okay, this is right. Then try to okay, adjust it a little. Duplicate 24. Now change the colors of this to the respective colors above. You can use the eyedropper. Okay. Alright. Okay. Great. So this slide is done. So we are done with the presentation. So this is a wonderful slide for you. You can go ahead and download it. So please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.